Here we go. Coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo. And she goes directly towards the Town Hall. But watch out for the range of the Town Hall. It is going to target the healer. So it immediately freezes it. Also protecting the blues that were on their way in. They're going to snipe off the Expo. And catches a Black Mine. Clearing the path here of the healers. And another wall break is going to carry the Queen. As she wraps the lap. And will go all the way towards the Multi-Inferno. But the Queen is not going to go inside of the Town Hall compartment. She's going to step forward. Take the Warden. Take the CC. Sidestep to the Expo. And work her way to the Multi-Inferno. While the King... Is going to pop his ability and take the town hall down and even grab out the air defense and arch tower on the other side. This is a beautiful setup here and an awesome way to start off this attack. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Over the last few days... We have seen K-Pasa battling it out against Unicorns of Love in the Queso Cup Town Hall 12 Grand Finals Best of 3 match. They have both taken a win with 14 stars on each of those wins as the victor. 14 out of a 15 possible in this 5 versus 5 single attack format war where they're not allowed to receive donations from Town Hall 13s. That restricts Siege Barracks and that restricts Log Launchers from being used and any donations for Town Hall 13 troops. So there is a lot of prize money on the line here, guys. We're looking at a 2,500 euro prize pool. 1800 of that is going to first place and 700 is going to second place so there is a lot on the line here for these teams as they fight through but this is the match that determines it all let's look at the teams here that they had to fight through to get here k pasa had to go through team kr and then hocus pocus it was a dominant performance from k pasa in the match against kr and again a very, very dominant performance in the match against Hocus Pocus. And they've been consistently putting up 14 stars in the wars here so far against Unicorns of Love. Unicorns of Love had a perfect war in their quarterfinals match against Gold Toads. And then they got a default win that ended up turning into a giant meme war in the semifinals against Immortal Age. Immortal Age uh, attacked out of order and they got DQ'd. And so Unicorns advanced, but they were going to advance... Looks like it either way because uh, they just started screwing around after that. But now we're in the grand finals match and it's about to begin. So guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, get some hype out there, and let's kick this war off right. Here we go. Marinol kicking us off into the first attack of the war. We have dragons with lightning, a heal, and a rage. Not going after air defenses here. But he does take down... Ooh, look at this. <laughs> oh, this is 200 IQ right here. Okay. I like this. The quake damages up the air defense. Can this bowler finish it? He has another quake, but he needs the quake to go on the other side to get the air defense on that side down. That'll form the funnel over there. Come on, Bowler. Oh, look at this Bowler. He's going to take out that gold mine. It's going to go forward. Oh, he sends in a couple blues. He's not waiting. He just needs the crash damage of one to finish it off. Doesn't need to get a strike off. Just needs the crash damage. There we go. The Bowler bounce. Just softened up there so the blues can finish it. And now he's ready to send it in. Marinol, the pro Brazilian player, previously from INTZ, is going to work his way in and see if he can get this down. Nice approach right now. Solid, solid, clean push here. With ground expos by the Eagle Artillery. So the dragon over there will not have any threats. He'll use his ward ability to get through the Town Hall and the Enemy Queen. And he gets distracted by that uh, cannon over there. But that's going to dump the dragons right into a Tesla farm to go support the uh, Soul Slammer. There's a heal spell. And if he could get this, if he can get that Eagle Artillery down before that dragon dies up there. He's in a really, really strong spot. But the Sweeper knocking it back. His heroes have come in the bottom corner. They're going to take this air defense and try to push the remaining dragons that are now at full health here from the heal all the way towards that eagle artillery and they can freeze up the multi-inferno to make the final approach. The king finally pops his ability. His barbarian split to all the trash out there, not leaving anything behind. That was perfect. The queen going through a wall. She hasn't used her ability yet. 
I think he's more he's got more than enough guys. This is uh this is smashed. Marino opening up this grand finals third and final match with a triple and he's gonna put K Pasa 12 on top. That's what we're looking for, guys. That's how we want to start this grand finals off, and nobody can deliver better than Marinol himself. Brilliant stuff here. Brilliant stuff. Let's keep it going. Tanto Palladium. Coming in with Zap Dragons as well. Zap Dragons is the attack of choice here in this playoffs match. In this grand finals match. If it continues to be, or people start using other stuff here. Using a couple lightning to ping at that queen. Get some damage onto the air defense. Catch us some more on the next air defense. Wrapping around, getting the inferno. And continuing through, getting the sweepers. Quake it all out, and he does not hit the air defense there. But he has more lightning. <laughs> oh my gosh. He didn't kill the queen, though. She's a one-shot, though. Very, very patient there to wait for the queen to lap around and tries to take her down. Doesn't quite finish her off. That did cost him 30 seconds, so the dragons are going to have to do this very quickly. But there is a lot of defenses down right there. A lot of important defenses. He catches a black mine with the baby dragon, and he can set up for the dragons to come in straight from 12 o'clock here after the queen picks off some defenses up here and finishes off that funnel. She can pop her ability and should be able to get the eagle artillery down, hopefully. The expos are already softened up there from the... Ooh. The, s the queen is not going to get that eagle. Or will she? Is she getting targeted? If she is, the expo will drop her. Eagle stays standing. Does not get it down. A little bit of a miscalculation there, but he has a strong funnel over on the right side. And he will be able to go right into this town hall. Nowhere else that he can really split off to, but the enemy queen, one shot away from going down, will potentially pull a little bit of the dragons off, but they should recorrect and uh, go back in. Dragons will work away the town hall. He has no freezes to protect them, but he does have a warden ability. That also protects him against a bunch of traps going off in the middle base there. And the enemy queen slammer takes the eagle artillery down on the side. So it stops laying down fire on top of him. Just needs to get the king to carry him and drop him off into this air defense here. Black mines going off. Lots and lots of damage there. Well, that ground to a stop really quick. Unicorns of Love misses their first attack in k -Pasa. 12 is starting the war on top. An immediate lead and a 78% two-star to kick it off from Unicorns of Love. Simba, which is Mask, is live. Here we go. Coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo. And he'll go right towards the Town Hall here and the Multi-Inferno. Can he get his Queen to step in? He's got the Wall Break. The Wall Break was deployed before the Queen to make sure that it died in the proper position to let the Queen step in that open corner. And we'll see if he can get in here and get this Inferno down and wrap wherever he wants to go. Looks like he's going to go get the Inferno down. Very nice. Queen entry here. Queen is hanging there with the Rage. Hasn't lost any healers yet that I don't think. Super wall break ahead is going to open up the expo. Catches a giant bomb, but it only opens up the approach to the town hall compartment. Actually, it's going to work out really, really nice for him. So the queen doesn't like uh, step off of path and she goes directly towards the town hall. But watch out for the range of the town hall. It is going to target the healer, so it immediately freezes it. Also protecting the blues that were on their way in. They're going to snipe off the expo and catches a black mine. Clearing the path here of the healers and another wall break is going to carry the queen as she wraps the lap and will go all the way towards the multi-inferno. Beautiful entry here from Mass. That was an OP start here with that queen charge. And now he can just throw his king on the outside, push the queen in, and she can go all the way to the enemy queen. Running the lap and she has conquered the gauntlet on this one. She doesn't even need the king up there. The king's going to come in the top corner. We'll take out the headhunters with the poison. He had a poison and he could have frozen something into the poison up there as necessary to get through. But he's going to put in a couple minions in the bottom corner and have the queen take out those uh, arc towers. And the minions will clear the outside trash. Doesn't need the king out there. The king will just drag this this uh, hound with him across the top of the base. He's not threatened up there. He's just going to go into cleanup. And a couple of minions will lock onto the hound, eventually pop it. But the queen is not going to the enemy queen. She needs to duck back in there and get back on track. That is going to potentially cause some problems here. It was an OP charge up until this point, but now I'm a little concerned about what this queen will do. 
There's the ward ability. Rage is up as he goes to the core of the base. But now the queen is going to start picking off blues like crazy. He'll freeze her. Rare trap. Lots of traps going off here. Lots of blues dropping rapidly. All defenses are about to go down. The dragon comes out of the... It's a double dragon to the soul slammer that kills the queen. His queen doesn't need to take her. He's got it under control. He gets out of here with a swag haste. Easy day. Gets it done. And k pass at 12 is on top even more. Bogley Hades is live. Here we go. Going to get Selena. We got some P.E.K.K.A.S. Super Wizards. And a whole lot of balloons here. Lots of balloons here to either snipe something off or they can send them all in with the main push and just use them protected by the ward ability. Do some damage in the middle of the base here. But he's just going to push the ward forward and grab out this multi-inferno. Use that as a funneling point. And then he can go into the right or left or really it's up or down. The top or bottom of the warden. He even pops in a rage there. He didn't really need to rage that. The rage was a little bit unnecessary. But he'll keep on charging this. The queen will come down. She'll use the rage a little bit. Could have saved that one. Could have saved that one. We'll see if that makes a difference. That is... The rage probably won't be the difference. Let's be real here. He got good value. And he should carry through just fine. The jump... Across the middle of the base here. We'll give Maxis the town hall. The super wizards activate the town hall. There's the ward ability. Misses the P.E.K.K.A.s though. The P.E.K.K.A.s are not inside of the ward and they're taking a lot of the damage, but the healers are stepping forward. They are healing those P.E.K.K.A.s inside of the rage, getting topped off as the queen did not go into the base. She's going for a walk along the bottom of the base and she has a couple of healers with her that could potentially be a problem here as he charges through the core. P.E.K.K.A. still has one healer, but the healer's going to get shot down. The jump is not giving him access into this multi-inferno. But the slammer is picking up the slack on the other side of the base. He's got a haste. And he can potentially still pull this off. There's the haste. Get him to the wizard tower. That'll shoot him right into the uh, Tesla farm. There's the queen ability. She steps in. Take the multi. Take the multi. The Tesla's go down. The queen survives. She's taking the arch tower. It's a triple. And unicorns of love. While they have a little bit of a messy attack there, the queen finds an open corner on that compartment and is able to step through and she takes it down. If that attack, that compartment was a completely enclosed, then that would have been a completely different story. But the queen, riding out of targets as he was collapsing in from all directions around it, is able to make the pathing in and she takes the triple. All right. I was a little worried about that one. I was a little bit worried about it. I'm not going to lie. But he pulls it off. Cap is live. Cap needs to get it done here. Coming in with Zap Witches. There's a single Inferno by the Town Hall. He'll use a Quake. That's a lot of Zap value right there. Can he hit the Inferno and the Eagle? Yes, he can. And he gets a little bit of damage on the Bomb Tower. That is a massive amount of Zap value here. He will have to come in... Through the town hall, town hall side to be safe. But there's no threats on the other side of the base. He got the eagle down. He got both of the multi-infernos down. And he only has a single inferno on this side. This should be a shoe-in easy triple for K-Pasa 12 here after that zap value. And he really went wide with his golems here. Going from top and bottom corner all the way around. Rages as he goes in the town hall. I personally like to do the freezes, but he has the extra spells because he's able to hit all of those defenses over on the right side of the base with one quake. So that freed up so he could bring in a rage and he still has a freeze on standby. He can use that freeze to protect a stone slammer to come in wherever he wants, but a big test farm pops over on the top corner. And he'll work his way around. I mean, look how much damage he's taking from these expos. He really needs to get in those compartments. Jeez. The witches need to get to these expos. As soon as those expos goes down, I feel a lot better about this, but right now I'm questioning it. One expo drops in the bottom side. Top expo kills another witch. The king is broken through. He's tanking it, but he's not going to last much longer. 
He's feel, okay. He's looking a lot better on the bottom side. He needs, he needs to switch to take out the warden statue. He drops in the slammer to go reinforce that witch. But they do break through the wall. That witch will survive. There are witches going around the bottom side. The queen still has her ability. I'm feeling a lot better about this now than I was a second ago. It's looking like he will pull it through. And he will get the triple on the board here. Cap getting it done. And yetis drop out and drop some tanking into the far side of the attack. Crushed it. When the, when the witches were dying in the middle, I was like getting a little scared there. But I wonder... After we see what the slammer did, if he could have maybe swagged the slammer, is the slammer gonna do doing a lot of work on the backside there and reinforcing and pushing him through the finish? Although he might have been able to make it through without it, hard to say. But there we go, K Pasa, three for three, holding strong. Unicorns of love, time to strike back. They cannot afford another mistake. They need to get a triple on the board here, and then they're still chasing a defense. BB is live. With a queen charge Lalo. Three super wall breakers here. Or two. Just two. I thought I saw three initially, but... My eyes are broken. Let's go in here and get this uh, CC down. He's got the rage. Poison up the super minions. Freeze up the headhunters. And carry through nicely. We haven't seen this CC here in a bit. We've seen, been seeing a lot of hounds, and they're definitely changing their CCs back and forth, trying to catch the defenders off guard. He'll wall break the queen in here. I don't know whether she's going to go into the town hall or go into the multi inferno, but he is protected either way. Looking like the king is going to go into the inferno. And the queen will, in fact, go to the town hall. But watch the town hall range. The healers are sitting just out of it. But no, they are inside of it. He has to freeze it. They do take some, some damage there. He can't take an eagle strike to his healers. The king, as soon as that king drops, he has to have the Lalo already begun. Otherwise, the healers or the queen are going to take the next strike. It is going to be the queen. If she goes to ability, the next strike will go to the healers and will kill them. Barely hanging on here. Rage is up. Here comes an ice hound. Is it taking the strikes? No, the queen is taking the strikes here, but she has the rage. She can top off through it. She can ward it through it as necessary. Or not one uh, ability through it, but she survives it. The enemy queen did go down to the king, it looks like. So he's looking really strong here. He needs to get the cleanup behind and push the queen back into the middle of the base here. The Lalo working his way through. The Ice Hound popping. The haste goes down as she goes into the multi inferno. The warden is lagging behind. Needs to catch up, but he'll pop it right there. And those blues are also taking Eagle Strike, saving them. Slammer in from the right corner. Warden goes down. The enemy warden goes down to his queen. And she will engage the enemy king. She's not the pop her ability right now. Go ahead and get out of the way. And get her moving through the next wall. There it is. Slammer. Tanking the air defense. Get him through that. Drops out blues. More blues drop in the bottom quarter to go to the Teslas. He's looking good for the triple here. BB getting it done here. Unicorns of love connecting on this one. And they will... Keep their team alive here, but they're still going to be chasing a defense. K-Pasa 12 got that 78% defense. And that still could carry them to victory here. But Unicorns of Love is not going to go down without a fight. They're going to fight to the last straw, and they will give their team every chance that they can. Boom. Rush Leviathan, which is Selino. Pro player out of Brazil. Let's see if he can get it done here. As he comes in with a queen charge, Lalo. Selected super barbarian. A so, just a single one. And a... Super wall breaker as his super troops. The yetis. Does the yetis... Oh, they take the eagle! Wow! That is a nice surprise there. As he landed close enough and then they got pulled towards the queen, making the Yeti Mice who were bouncing out go and take out the Eagle Artillery. That is a phenomenal start here. He says it a super wall breaker, but it doesn't make it to the wall. Was he trying to get the headhunters out of the CC early? I'm not sure what he was doing there. But what what was the purpose of that super wall breaker? What the heck is going on there? I don't understand that at all. However, he has funneled the king. To go inside of the town hall compartment and take down the town hall while the queen fights off the CC. She's going to power through it pretty quickly there with a rage. 
But the queen is not going to go inside of the town hall compartment. She's going to step forward, take the warden, take the CC, sidestep to the expo, and work her way to the multi-inferno while the king is going to pop his ability and take the town hall down and even grab out the air defense and arch tower on the other side. This is a beautiful setup here and an awesome way to start off this attack. Here comes the Lalo in from the other side. No Eagle Artillery to worry about. And the Queen should be able to get the Sweeper. And make so that they're not knocking the balloons back there as they go into the top end of the base. He's got more balloons coming to the top corner as the Lava Hound crosses through. Freezes up the Multi-Inferno. Still has a Ward ability. And he still has two more freezes and a haste to carry him through. This is looking crushed. What a beautiful blimp. An awesome plan with the king. The queen charge was perfect. And this attack was perfection. This was flawless. Celino. That's why he's that's why he's a pro. That's why he's one of the top earning players in the world in Clash of Clans. And he's about to win his team a little bit more right here if he can uh, if they can hold together for one more attack. One attack away. And Kepasa has it in their grasp. He'll swag the freeze at the end of the attack. They're on to the enemy king. And he gets out of there with a triple. And now they just need to get through one final attack with a higher than 78%. And they will lock in the win. The last person to attack is Nick. He clutched the triple at the end of the last war. And he could very likely do it again. The only path to victory right now for Unicorns of Love is to triple twice. And then hold Kepasa below 78 percent black angel is live against the person who will be doing the final attack from kpasa nick let's see if black angel can get it done here the pressure is on guys the pressure is on they have their one misstep of the war and they're gonna go in with a warden walk wait did two people run this? Did, did we just see this attack a minute ago? Or was it the previous war? I'm having flashbacks on this attack here. It feels like the same base. And if it is, then they already know how to beat it. Let's go. Let's go. Pekka's working their way in. In the previous attempt on this base, the queen walked and did not go into the funnel. Let's see if that happens again. He's got two jump spells. He'll rage up as he works his way in. Blooms out, carrying forward. Trying to find black mines. Looking really solid here. Everything is staying together. The king taking out the cannon out over the edge. That's going to push the Pekkas into the base through the jump spell. The super whiz is wrecking through the core of the base here with the ward ability active. The ward ability lets up. He's got the CC engaged. The king's still doing good work over on the right side, but he's going to be able to pop his ability, get that multi-inferno down. Huge value over there. Super whiz is still doing good work here. Getting the chains and uh, they're not really chained off into anything important right now. But the Pekkas carry through. The queen will grab the wizard tower, rejoin with the Pekkas, follow them through. The Pekkas holding the air... Or is holding the healers. He even gets the uh, gets the air defense down before he loses too many healers. But now the healers are getting threatened by the multi inferno. The queen has pathing into the multi. She's gonna step through for the jump. Hopefully, oh, come on, queen, go in, go in. No, queen, queen, no. Super wizards are on it though. There we go. There it is. The multi inferno goes down, and unicorns of love has got the triple on the board here. He has a swag freeze, swag haste, swag poison. He'll use the poison to take out the air skellies. He'll use the haste and the freeze to get through the final defenses. Doesn't even need to. He can swag it all right there. The queen carries through. She'll pick up the last of the cleanup. Everything else trailing behind it to clean up the right hand corner. And it's a triple for unicorns of love. They did what they needed to do. And it all comes down to the final attacks. Ladies and gentlemen. The final attacks, the finale of the Town Hall 12 Queso Cup Tournament is happening right now. We will be watching Unicorns of Love take their strike. They have to attack simultaneously. So we will see Dragon come in and then we're going to cover up the screen, cover up the timer, and we will see if Nick did what Unicorns of Love need him to do, which is a 
77% or lower fail. Assuming the dragon gets this triple and Nick ends up failing that, it could swing the war into Unicorns of Love favor. He's going to start off with a Zap Dragon and he's coming in with Inferno Dragons for the final attack of the war with everything on the line. And he's doing Zap Quake Inferno Dragon spam. He's got a heal spell and a rage. This is something that I don't think I've ever seen at Town Hall 12. Like we see it with skeletal spells at Town Hall 13 when everybody runs it against single Infernos, but he'll send his blimp right through the Inferno Dragons as they push their way through. Warden ability to protect it, so it makes his approach to the Town Hall. He still has not deployed his king or his queen. He'll rage up the dragons as they come out of the blimp. The blues will take the strike at the Town Hall, take it down, and then they will be sacrificed. And then the heal spell comes down as he goes in the middle of the base. He has to get that enemy queen down. Lots of black mines going off in the middle. The king and the queen come to the bottom corner. This queen needs to go down. Needs to tag team her. Does he get her? There, she goes down. She goes down. Does he have enough to finish it now? The king will pop his ability. That's going to push the queen into the multi-inferno. He has the uh, wall break that has given him access into the core. There are super wall breakers around the top. Or not super wall There are... Uh, the Inferno Dragons across the top of the base and a ground expo. The Queen needs to take the Eagle. Gets it on the last strike. All right, King, pull this off. Ground expo, ward a statue. Save the King, save the King, save the King. Does not save the King. Okay. Is this a defense? Sweeper. Oh, he's got the sweeper too. Oh, no. I didn't even think about the sweeper. It's a defense. It's a defense. Okay. We'll see what happens on the other side here. But with this defense, k -Pos is going to take the win unless they one-starred. Okay. We're going to start timer as soon as the first uh, troop drops. There it is. Coming in with the queen. In the bottom corner, a queen charge Lalo. If there's any attack that would one star potentially, the queen charge Lalo is the one that could. But he needs to play it safe. He needs to make sure he gets the two star. He only needs a 79% will take the win. 78% will tie. No, wait, I lied. The percentages are all off now. That was if that was if Unicorns of Love tripled. So it is a little bit different situation now. He just needs to not once he needs to just get a two star. If he gets a two star, 50%, then his team is winning. I think there's a very, very slim chance that Unicorns of Love takes the win here and makes this comeback, but it's always a possibility. Takes the CC down. Very, very good at handling the CC. Freezes up the headhunters, poisons up the super minions. That's exactly how you want to deal with that. And then he can pop his king, clearing the outside of the base there. And where's this queen going to go from here? Does she turn back? No, she's going to continue following the king. She takes the tunnel blast, but she'll heal right back up through that. Loses the heal to a black mine. Approaching 50% now. 36 and climbing. Loses another healer. The queen under under heavy fire here. She's in trouble. But she gets the water statue down. That takes a lot of the firepower off of her. She can get top back off. Here comes the Lalo. Starting a balloon in the bottom corner. Slammer going to the Eagle Artillery. All he has to do now is not disconnect. And the win is going to K to K Pasa. Town Hall 12. Climb to victory. The rage comes down for the queen. I think they've got it. And ladies and gentlemen, he crosses to 50%. And K Pasa 12 is your Town Hall 12. Grand Finals winners, and they will take this round of the Town Hall 12 Queso Cup Tournament. And they'll take the win, crown the victor, and they're taking home 1,800 euros. But Unicorns of Love is not leaving empty-handed. They're going to get 700 euros for such a phenomenal performance throughout the tournament. Coming in second place, giving us a hell of a show here to cap it off here. But I think Nick is looking good here. He could go all the way in this attack. The Queen looking like she's going to drop, but the Bloons are swarming. And there's a haste. 
and he's gonna end it with a triple and it's a perfect war for the finale attack here and there we go there you have it ladies and gentlemen k pasa 12 15 stars on the board and they definitely earned the win incredible stuff there congratulations and i believe that is their second win in the queso cup circuits they won town all 10 now they've won town all 12 and they've done well in every single one of them that was incredible